Lift your hands to him in worship. There is a song you can sing to the spirit this morning. Robo Zanane Ziade Jinana Robo Ziade. Likala bo la 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 le, likala bo la la le, likala bo la 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 le. Zedere mo koya raba di di di, maja da 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 da, raba zaka da 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 da, da 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 de. Today I feel deeply to commune more with him. Sing a love song to him. Sing a love song to the Holy Spirit. It is a day of encounter. The heavens are opened over you. Some of us will be translated, this is the day. This is the third day. Yedaya. Yedaya. He's here. He's here. Come up tither. He's here. Riba ba 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, rivers are flowing from your belly right now. Come up, Tita. Yeah, 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 yeah. So many angels in this place. The heavenly host has taken over. Come up, Tita. Yeah, da, 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 Yeah, 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 Lezia nananeza dade. Get the microphone. Me la 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 la. Just give that sound that the spirit of the Lord is putting on your heart. Lezia dade. It is a day for communing deeply, communing deeply with the spirit of God. He will take you. He will show you. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 Commune deeply. Belly shall flow. Imaya nezaya. Yikataya makaya. Yeah, yeah. Just go deeper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Holy Yahweh, Jehovah Rapha, oh God Lord, 
you are holy. Jesus, you are holy. Holy Ghost, you are holy. Kizaba Baba Razatara in the name of Jesus Christ. Shazi Baba 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 Randra Kandaraba Zikiri Nerara Shiro Sutoro Bozi Baba Kazekeja Zayazi Kazi Bakari Anara Uzoko Shayaza Zibeze Kazi Anara Zibushiza Kazi Uro Orondoro Sita Rabaki Izika Yaba Ken Shantra Siba Baba Nozika Zakari Anara Shizika Yekaba Zisi Tobo Kotaka In the name of Jesus Christ Zika Tira Kira Ria In Jesus Mati Nim Mokoza Ara, oh Roya Baba Baba, oh Sandra Tarabaza, oh Shatira Zikiri, oh Sindro Bazakaria, oh Shabara Nara Zikiri. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, you are holy. Lord God, you are mighty. You are our God. You are our Father. You are our King. Yahweh, you are our King. You are our Redeemer. Oh Lord God, you are our righteousness. You are God Almighty. The mighty God. The mighty God. God Almighty. Yahweh Almighty. You are Almighty God, the only true God we know, the only true God we love. We love you, Yahweh. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You are holy. You are mighty. You are great. Jesus, you are our God. We stand on you. We can't fall. We can't fall. You can't break. You are the rock that cannot break. Jesus, you are our rock. You are our rock. You can't break. You can't fall when we are standing on you. You are mighty. You are our righteousness. You are our king. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Holy Ghost. You, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. Just sit down briefly. Because we are going to rise up and, and pray. I greet you Jesus name. This is a beautiful good morning. Our third day on this altar. The, the, the third day is the day of our perfection. Praise the Lord. This is our third day on this altar. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Are you there? Jolly. You are number one. You are number one. You are a winner. You are a winner. When others lost the day, you became a winner. Oh. When you are competing for the space with millions, with millions, you are number one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There are always blessings of firstborn. And the firstborn blessings are never repeated. You're not getting me. You are missing me. When Jacob and Esau were fighting for the blessings of the firstborn, Jacob, who was the second born, got the blessings of the first born. When he, when I Esau went to uh, to Isaac, 
He says to Isaac, Bless me also. Listen to the answer. All the blessings are finished. the firstborn. You are number one. You are number one. You are not ordinary. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want us to rise up and appreciate God. That we are number one. I want you to rise up. And say, God, I thank you. I am number one. I thank you. I am number one. In the name of Jesus. I bless your name. I am number one. I bless your name. I'm not ordinary. In the name of Jesus. I bless your name. I move around with the blessings of the firstborn. In the name of Jesus. I move around with the blessings of the kings. I am not ordinary. In the name of Jesus. I am not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. In Jesus' name. Just give the Lord a clap of offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. May God bless you. We laid a foundation yesterday of the issues of birth. As number one, you must win the battle of the wind. As number one, as you are number one, you must win the battles of the womb. Say, I'm a winner. I am a winner. Don't say this just in a casual way. The Bible says, Bible the ways that I speak are spirit and life. They are spirit. The ways that come out of my mouth, they are spirit. And they are life. I am a winner. I am a winner. I win all the battles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's not a slogan. It's a declaration. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. I am a victor. Because I'm number one. And I've got the blessings of number one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pick the life of Moses as a case study. In, in, in other disciplines at school, you know, in tertiary, especially in 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 in, in, in tertiary. You are able to give an, a, 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 a case. The lawyers do that. They, 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 the accountants do that. You know. They give you a case. Look at this case. Look at the details of the case. Critic it. Look at it. Judge it afresh. If we are the judge, what were you going to do? do? It is called case study. Praise the Lord.
Yes. You bring up somebody's imagination, no somebody's thoughts, and you relate it to your own life or no the life the situation around you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. May God bless you. I'm not going to excite you. But I want you to be equipped. If we go to the book of Numbers chapter 20, and I'm, and I'm going to request somebody to read it for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Numbers chapter number 20, starting to read from verse 6, we go down. Are you there in the book of Numbers? Numbers chapter 20. We are reading from verse 6. We go down to verse uh, 11. Then the children of Israel, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in the first month and the people stayed in Kadesh, and Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was water for the congregation, so they gathered together against Moses and Aaron. And they ended with and spoke, saying, If only we had died when our brethren died before the Lord. Why? Why have you brought up the assembly of the Lord into the wilderness that we and our animals should die here? And why have you made us come? come up out of Egypt to bring us to, to this evil place. It is not a place of grain or figs or vines or pomegranates, nor is there water to drink. So Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly to the door of the tabernacle of meeting, and they fell on their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the rod, you and your brother Aaron together, you and your brother Aaron gather the congregation together, speak to the rock before their eyes, and it will yield its water. Thus you shall bring water for them out of the rock and give drink to the congregation and their animals. So Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock, and he said to them, Hear now, you rebels. Must we bring water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted his hand and struck the rock twice with his rod. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation and the congregation and the animals drank. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is verse 11. Yes, please. Go down to verse 12. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not believe me, to allow me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. Praise the Lord. Thanks so much. God bless you. Let's look at this character called Moses. He had an assignment. The assignment that Moses had was to take to deliver the children of Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. And that was determined before he was born. That was determined before conception. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was determined by God himself the three children of uh, Amram that is Aaron Moses Musa, and, and Miriam Maryam. these are the three children of Am, 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 Amram and, and Jacobet now God the Bible does not tell us how they were born except how Moses was born. It is not a mistake. That Aaron was omitted from the issue of 
how he was born. And Miriam was also omitted. Miriam she was born. And the Bible only picks Moses. In the book of Genesis chapter, Exodus chapter number 2, verse 1. Moses was born. And when she was, when he was three months old, the mother could not hide him anymore. He sends she sends him na, na to sindika. Nile River. Mm. Most of you know Nile River. It's about 70 kilometers from 70 kilometers from where we are around here. Nile River, River is right here in Ginger. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Moses sent Musa. to Nile River. Where there are crocodiles. That's how Moses was brought up. From the age of three months, he lived briefly among the crocodiles. And they could not eat him up. Because he had an assignment. When God gives you an assignment. He gives you a time frame when you should execute that assignment. Before you finish that assignment, nothing is you up. Nothing kills you. Hallelujah. You can live until the assignment is complete. Because you have to execute what God wants you to do. I, I sat down and looked at the issue of staying or being, being living, Moses living in if you go to, Gen to Exodus chapter number 1 the last verse of the book of Exodus Pharaoh is instructing the men in Egypt that every boy must be thrown in the river purpose is that he may be eaten up by crocodiles. Moses lived with the same crocodiles which were meant to eat the sons of Israel. And they could not eat him because he was a proper son. A proper, Moses was a proper child. You have to be a proper child. You are a proper child. You are a proper son. Paul says in the book of Hebrews, Moses is the proper son. And we are proper children. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that you get this. I'm not ordinary. You will never be ordinary. You will never speak an ordinary language. You will never decree ordinary decrees. Because you are not ordinary. You are a proper son. You are a proper child of God. Hallelujah. Now, this is case study, isn't it? So we are, we are going to be, we are going to be stable. We are going to be steady. Moses, Musa, when he grew up, before, before he grew up, when he, when he is still in the, in the in, in, in Nile River, I think, I still believe he was around three months old. If Moses was even a year, there is, a, there is somebody who is watching over Moses. The man, the, the, the woman that watches over Moses plays far away. Plays near the Place near the, 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 the box that contained Moses. 
Lo and behold, one day, Pharaoh's daughters sees this box. She got attracted to the box. She had gone for a ritual at Nile River. Pharaoh's daughter did not need to have a bath she did, not need, she did not need to have a bath at the river. Pharaoh's daughter did not need a swimming pool or did, did not need to go to, to do swimming in the river. She had gone to the river to worship the gods of the waters. That was not a simple trip. It was not an, a simple exercise. Praise the Lord. She would go in the afternoon for swimming. The father will go in the, in the early hours of the morning. Before sunrise, the father will be at the river performing the same ritual. When this time she goes there, she spots a box at the corner sitting among the tree, among, among the trees in the water. Please walk with me this journey. I beg you, walk with me. Moses Musa. was spotted. Pharaoh's daughter takes her, him. Amutuala. The woman Omuchala. who is watching over e Moses e Musa. comes up. Avayo. Can I help you look for someone who can look after the boy, the baby? Do you know how old was this woman? Should I tell you how old she was? If you go to the book of uh, Exodus chapter number 7, and you pick verse number 7 also, Old Miriam was. Aaron, Aaron, the firstborn, was three years old when Moses was born. I'm going to say that statement again. When Aaron was three years old, Miriam was already born. Because Moses was three years younger than So how old was Miriam? When she does this great job of looking after her younger brother who is only three months old. She was between one and a half years and two years. A toddler minor. It can only be God. Because the boy was not ordinary. Moses was not ordinary. I'm going to say it again. Miriam was a toddler. She was learning how to talk. She her language was not perfect. She was learning the tricks of life. She, I believe she could not run properly. I believe Miriam could not run as a, as a grown-up woman. But she handled matters of the kingdom in a marvelous way. She handled issues in a, mar in mar in a marvelous way. We normally fear the, the princes. We normally fear the kings. We normally fear the rulers. When Miriam saw the daughter of Pharaoh coming to the brother, she comes closer. Say, can I, can I help you? Let me get somebody to look after your old, after your child. After this baby. I will look for a Hebrew woman. 
to look after his baby. Potlas cannot talk that language. God made it clear that he can make everyone protect, defend his way. I love the way Miram handled the matter. I, 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 enjoy. I, go, I go to the Bible and read this over. Read this over and over. Her speech was clear. Because she was defending, she was defending the kingdom. Her speech, Miram speech, as a, as a, as a, as a young girl, the girl, the little a toddler who could not even fear. Oh my God, she could not fear the daughter of the king. Praise the Lord. The girl, the daughter of the king, did not walk alone. She always had. Uh, a convoy around her. Let's, let, me just, let me just show you that uh, we would be afraid if we, if, if, uh, if we were to, to have that kind of encounter. If you meet the daughter of uh, President Museveni in the Museveni shops, Kudoka. you will not go and greet her. You will not. You can't just, can just walk in. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I, I'm happy to see you. Mm, oh, the daughter of the president. Oh. president. They will chase you away. That was not the case with Miriam. <laughs> If you can miss this, you are going to miss something at the end. I don't want you to miss this. Before you were born, before you were conceived, before you came into the mother's womb, you were perfect. When God saw you, you were perfect. When God looked at the day, you were going to be born. You grew up. You were perfect. The Bible says, Jesus looks at, uh, looks at the Pharisees. He says to them, the day Abraham saw me, seeing that I'm coming to earth, as perfect as I am, he was happy. Abraham was happy. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get it. Before Jesus Christ was born, yes, Christo, Before he was born, When the heavens said Jesus is going down to earth. The church, the church of saints around the, or the assembly of saints around the throne of God had the conversation. They knew about the, the, the conversation from the from the, the tabernacle of the Lord. So they were aware that one day Jesus is coming to earth undefiled. And when the day comes, that's what Jesus is saying. You Pharisees, when that day came that I should go down to earth, he, Abraham himself was happy. Oh, praise the Lord. The heavens get excited when, when they hear about your assignment. The angels rejoice when they know you are going to be born. The saints in heaven, they, even those who move from earth and visit the throne of God and they overhear the conversation that you are going to be born. They start jubilating. They rejoice because you are perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love this. When Abraham danced in, the, in heaven and the angels saw it limping hands, 
Jesus is going. Jesus is going. Jesus is going to redeem the nation. Jesus is going to redeem the people. Jesus is going to redeem the earth. Jesus is going. Jesus is going. The restoration is coming up. I pray that you understand that. The same thing happened with you. The Bible says when you are born, when you are born again, the angels rejoice. When one soul is one to the Lord, Amen. the angels rejoice. The same applies to the day you are, you are to be born. Or rather, you are to be conceived. Just, just before conception, then it comes up that you are going to be born. Perfect as you are, Every, everybody is rejoicing. So it was with Moses. Praise the Lord. Now, Moses Musa is the son of Levi. Levi. Is the descendant of Levi. If you go to the same book of, Gen of Exodus chapter number 2, it says, Amram is the descendant of Levi. Ibrahim, Yavamu Levi. Amram. 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 Yavamu Levi is the descendant of Levi. Yavamu Levi. Jacobet is the descendant of Levi. Na Yavamu Levi. So Moses, Aaron, and Miriam were pedigree Levites. 100% Levites. No dilution. It is not crossbreed. It is 100% breed of the Levites. I wish there was somebody to do it then. Who gave birth to Levi? It's one lady by the name of Leah. Genesis chapter number 29. Around verse, around verse, from verse 30 you go down. You see where Levi comes from. Levi is the daughter. Levi is the daughter, is the son of Leah. Not Rachel. Rachel. Do you know that uh, Rachel never, no, Leah never, never enjoyed her marriage. Did you know that? Leah never enjoyed, Leah never enjoyed her marriage. Because she defiled somebody's bed. I get, sometimes I get shocked when, when we deal with issues of the family. This young man, by the name of Jacob, comes to Laban. And he says, I'm going to work for you to marry Rachel. And they all agreed. Everybody said, yes, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And then the day of marriage comes up. And the ceremony. Come and join the wedding ceremony. Please, 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 join us. We are, we are celebrating a big day for Rachel and Jacob. The whole day they were dancing. The whole day they were, they were, they were celebrating. They were drinking. Now the evening came. You know the Hebrew marriage goes for about seven years. No, seven days. Just celebration. Celebration. Marriage, marriage celebration in Hebrew. It goes for seven days. In the night. In the evening. Laban. Laban. Takes. Leia. Jacob. Leah doesn't complain. Leah
Did Leah complain? No. Did she make noise? No. No. That's the defilement. Those are the issues of the family. That was defilement. Something shocks me. Rachel doesn't complain. Leah is quiet. Leah Motufu. Rachel is quiet. That's shocking. Don't you think so? The first person to complain was supposed to be Rachel, to be Leah. No, no, Papa. No, no. I cannot take my, my sister's husband. No, no, Papa. It can't happen like that. She is quiet. Is it not shocking? Rachel also is quiet. Is it not shocking? It should be shocking. Because it's not normal. It is not normal. Put yourself in the, in the shoes of, Ra of Rachel. Everybody, the whole day was celebrating. You are getting married, you are getting married. All of a sudden, in the, in the evening, you are back to where you were. No marriage. Someone else is married instead of you. It might have happened with you when you were to be promoted. Somebody who is not a performer is promoted before you. You wait, you, you wait to win the tender. You are just about to win this big tender. Somebody who is not even competing is not. Is not. Is not. Is not somebody who is not competing wins the tender. Some years ago, one big organization in Botswana was given a big piece of land. When they when she got when he got that land, it was after the tendering for that land had been closed. So he had but he won. The guy that came in last, after the, after the closing day of the tender, won. So he was on the newspaper. He, they, on the fr on front page. I went to the shop and bought the, that paper. I went to his office. I said, man, you are on front page. When I got there, I found the secretary. I said, where is your boss? She said, um, she's busy. I said, tell him, Murebudu was here, saying, you are on front page. And then he came out of the office. He took me to his office. I said, I do not come here for anything. I'm simply saying, you are on front page that you purchased. You were given a, a land after the tender date was, after the tender date had passed. There are many layers in nations. Marriage is not theirs because they have a big altar somewhere. They come in and they take it. But I'm not, I'm not going to talk about altars. I'm not going to talk about altars. I want us to talk about, we are looking at Moses as a statue. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Rachel Luckily. did not complain. Jacob also Jacob did not ye. complain. This shocks me. Now you tell me, when people are having sex, are they not talking? I, they don't talk. You only see in the morning that we are sleeping with somebody who is not, who is not your wife. Come on. Come on. Come it, it defeats logic. They didn't talk. 
They didn't talk Moses, Mo, uh, Jacob and Jacob and and Leah. Yakobo, they didn't talk. Jacob and Leah te ba yogera. They didn't talk. Te ba yogera. I'm trying to imagine. Anyway, I'm not an Israelite. Maybe that's how the Israelites, the Israelites did it. Shocks me. Chinkanga. It shocks me. Chinkanga. I believe because, because Jacob, Jacob is trying to say to me, Jacobo, Leah and Rachel were of the same stature, the same, same, the same height, same body size. Even when it's dark, you ne, cannot ne differentiate them. They speak the same. They have the same voice. No, come on. Neda, neda. Come on. Neda. Come on. And out of that, Leah felt she could be able to enjoy life. She could be able to enjoy marriage. Hallelujah. Are you, are you still following me? You are not lost, incident. Are you getting some surprises? Why did they cheat Jacob? Cheater. Jacob cheated Esau. Uh, now they are cheating him. Praise the Lord. I, I use maybe maybe it's just me alone. But Jacob, he had to eat his own shoe somewhere somehow. But, but let's leave that because we want, to see, we want to see what is in the womb. Reuben was born. And then the next person who was born was Simeon. The third person who was born was Levi. Check the names. When Reuben was born, Reuben Leah becomes excited. Leah I'm, going to, I'm definitely going to be loved now. The name means the man, the woman is not loved. The reason, the reason behind the, the motive of calling his, her son Reuben is that I will be loved. And, and she doesn't tell Reuben that uh, I'm not loved. Simply say Ruben. That's it. That's it. That's how you were named. The person who gave you a name did not tell you why she's calling you by that name. The second born comes up. Simeon. Simeone. Now I've got two sons. And my husband now will love me more. Communicating. Oh. I'm not happy. Oh. I live in, in, fact, in fact, other version says, other version says, I will, he will take me out of the affliction I'm in. The Simeon. Simeone out of my frustration, out of my bitterness, out of my anger, because now my husband will turn to me marriage because she stole it. Leah never enjoyed marriage because she stole somebody, she defiled someone's bed. That's why Ruben, that's why Ruben went out and stole the maid, uh, Leah's maid. Because when you do it, it King David stole somebody's wife. One other day, King David or Leah's wife, one day, was Absalom who went out and stole King David's wife. You do it, they'll do it to you. I'm 
I'm not here to excite you. I want you to trace the issues in the womb that cast you short before you can get the destiny. That's what happened to Moses. Moses never reached the promised land because of the issues of the, the, issues of the womb. Moses did not take the children of Israel to the promised land because of the issues of birth. Levi was born. When Levi was born, Rachel was still barren by that time. No child. She did not, by that time, Rachel did not have any child. But Leah had the third child. When um, Levi comes out, she says, so my husband now will be a good companion to me because I bore her three children. Rachel, Leah was still bitter. Even when she's giving, uh, she's giving birth to children, she conceives them in bitterness. They, they are born in bitterness. Praise the Lord. Are, are you understanding me? When they grew up, Nobody saw that. When, when Simeon, Simeon and Levi grew up, and Reuben, when they grew up, when they were in the, when they were in the house, nobody saw they, they have problems. Their mother, was, their mother was bitter. Nobody could pick it. No, not even a single one. They were innocent children. They were beautiful children. Just like you and me. We look very good. We look very clean. But issues of birth are still lying somewhere in us. It happened. I want to cut this long, this account short. It happened that one day the only daughter that uh, the only daughter that um, um, uh, uh, Leah had was one beautiful lady by the name of Diana. A beautiful girl. As she walks around, every, every prince will look at him and say, will look at her and say, wow, I wish I could have her. I wish I could have her. The girl was beautiful. Diana was beautiful. Loved by everybody. Attracted every man. And one other time, she attracted, she moved in the city. And the king's son saw her. Raped, raped Diana. That account, that thing, made to know what is Simon and Levi made of. That day we knew Simon and Levi made of. That day we knew Simon and Levi Jacob kept quiet. When, when, when he went to bed with Leah, Jacob, Rachel kept quiet. When her, her, her husband was taken away from her, Leah kept quiet. When she was stealing someone, they were told, they were told, Diana has been raped. They kept quiet, they kept quiet as if nothing has happened. They did, did they make noise? No. No, they didn't. They kept quiet. When Reuben slept with the with the, with with the, with with the, with the father's wife, Reuben second wife, the father knew it, and he kept quiet because it is in the bloodline. It is in the bloodline. They don't talk about it. They don't speak about it. Praise the Lord. You understand me? Hallelujah. May God bless you. I want you to, pick, to get this. It was growing. Now, 
they come up with a strategy. And Jacob took the, uh, the, the, the first bonds position. There was a strategy. As Esau goes back, just go to the crawl and kill. Now here, wano. here, wano. Levi and Simeon, Le Simeon comes up with a plan. Oh, do you want, you want to marry Diana? Oh, you want Sabana. to marry our sister? Oh, let all the men of the village, let them all circumcise. It was a noble thing. It was a good thing. You marry our children, you marry if you are circumcised, we'll marry your daughters, you'll marry our daughters. So on and so forth. Praise the Lord. I pray that you get this. When they were, when all of them had circumcised, on the third day, circumcision was so severe. All the men in the village were all not able to walk. They could not even run. Simeon and Levi come up with the sword and they killed the whole village. And the father looks at them. You are instruments of cruelty. You are always angry. You are always short tempered. When they have killed everyone, they freed their daughter or their sister. They took Diana back home. After they did that, they went to all the oxen in the village. The Catholics. Instrument of cruelty. Where does it come from? The bitterness that Leah had. Leah carried bitterness all along. Leah walked with bitterness every day. Leah was never happy in the marriage. Even, even when she was pregnant of Levi, the bitterness was still there in the womb. When she was pregnant of Simeon, Bitterness was still there in the womb. And it moved from the heart through the blood vessels to the heart of, uh, of Simeon. And, and bitterness moved from the heart of Leah. Went through the, went with an umbilical cord, it went to Levi. They spoke one language. They agreed. Bitterness, bitterness and anger, dissatisfaction in marriage was always there in the womb of, in the womb of Leah. Even when she was pregnant of Reuben, adultery that Leah had, Leah committed, Adultery that Leah committed when she went into the bed of Rachel was there in Reuben. That's why when she looked at, the, at Zilpah, is it Zilpah or Milpah? One of them. And then she said, Baby, we can do it. My father is not here. Your boss, my mother, is not here. We can go to bed. It was born at the time of conception. Those are the issues of the womb. That, that comes from the womb. That was not born outside. It was born, it was in the womb. But I want to close up with this one. Reuben. Reuben. Committed adultery. Simeon. Simeon. Bitterness comes up. Levi. Levi. Bitterness comes up. They are cruel. They hate. They can kill. They can do anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, even when Moses was now 80 years old, or above 80 years old, the anger and the bitterness was still there in him. The anger and the bitterness that he got from the great, great, great mother. I, 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 want, to, I, want, to, I want you to get it. 
Moses was not the second generation from Levi. Musa tayari mlembe kwa 12. No, she, no he was not. Tayari. No. There were many generations Wale between Levi and Jacob. Ne Jacob. And Levi. There were many generations. But the bitterness still remain in the in the blood vessel in the bloodline of the divine. Wali busigade mumusai gwa ba Levi. Can I say it again? Mchidemu. The bitterness, the hurts, the pain, which Leah, their mother, had, was still in the bones of Leah. Was still in the bloodline of Leah. Was still in the bloodline of Amram. They were still carrying the bitterness and the anger and the cruelty. No, 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 no. I said yesterday what your mother did before you were born until you break it is still in you no matter how old you are irrespective of your age irrespective of your age praise the Lord now here is Moses he is just about to go to, the, to deliver the children of Israel one other thing that uh, that disqualified him. When you, when you go to the gaze of when you go to the gaze of Israel, not Egypt rather. One son was not circumcised. But the issue of bitterness and anger, short temperedness, he did not attend to it. God says in the book in the book of Exodus chapter number four. God says to Moses, I am killing you. Firstly, in chapter three, God says, Go and deliver the people. Now in chapter four, God says, Moses, I'm killing you. He is at the gate of Egypt where he is going to do deliverance. Oh, you are not getting me. He is about to arrive. He is now near starting the assignment. And God says, I'm killing you because you are not clean. I'm killing you, Moses. You, because Moses was not clean. Let me say it again. When you are not clean, it disqualifies you. When you are not clean, you cannot carry out the assignment of the Lord. When you are not clean, you cannot advocate for people. When you are not clean, you cannot bring a sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Are, are you getting there? Are you getting it? Moses dealt with the uncircumcised child. Musa. But he did not do anything about his short his short partners. He did, did not do anything about his bitterness. Because it was lying low. Issues of birth lie low. They hide in your body. They hide in your system. They hide in your character. I'm not, uh, anyway, maybe this only applies to the Israelites. Um, maybe you are exempted from that. The, the things that your parents did, the bitterness, the anger, the witchcraft, the stealing, the sorcery, you name it, they are hiding in you. They hide in you. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Moses was 80 years old when he stood before Pharaoh. Aaron was 83 years. Praise the Lord. They were, they, were, they were carrying the same gene. They were carrying the same case. They were still having the same bitterness. They were still having the same bitterness that they had. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you are not dozing. I trust Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, what was Moses' assignment? To 
speak to the elements. Moses was the voice in the wilderness. Moses like like Elijah, there was the voice in the wilderness. Moses like Moses like John the Baptist, there was the voice in the wilderness. Isaiah 40 I am the voice in the wilderness. The voice in the wilderness deals with elements. The voice in the wilderness speaks to water. The voice in the wilderness speaks to trees. Hallelujah. Mm. I like looking at the life of Moses. He was just a great man. He look at the water and points at the water and say, be mad, be, be blood. Water, be blood. Speaking to the elements, the water turns into blood. Hallelujah. That was the great Moses. He looks at, he picks up the dust and he throws it in the air. It comes something else. He, he, looks, he looks at the, at the kettle and says, oh, you, all you kettle here, all of you, start suffering from, 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 from leprosy. Kettle. He looked at the sun. Moses, Moses dealt with the elements because he was the voice in the wilderness. <laughs> but the bitterness was still in there. He performed all the miracles. He did everything. He caused the sons of the firstborn of Egypt to die in one day. The issue of birth was still lying low. We have measured our, ourselves by the miracles we perform. Let me, be, let me assure you, you still need consecration. And, and consecration is not an event. Moses did it at the gates of Egypt. He, he succeeded to, go, to get into Egypt. When he comes to the next level, he needs to do it. Let me put it this way. Before every great miracle, before every great miracle can take place, there is need for consecration. When Joshua was, was just about to take over Jericho, there was consecration. Moses when he was just about to, 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 to open the Red Sea, they separated themselves from the whole crowd. There's always every moment, every day, every assignment in this concentration. I pray that you understand me. Hallelujah. Never measure, your, measure yourself or your success by the because even when you perform certain miracles, the issues of birth are still lying down there. You can be a great man. You can even raise the dead. And still, you have not learned yourself from the issues. Let me one. Are you saying we should not do anything until? No, 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 no. no. The Bible doesn't say that. They performed what they were doing. When the of birth rise up. They, are, they attend to those matters. You raise, you raise the dead. And after raising the dead, you can still realize that you are lustful. You attend to the last. You, 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 you raise the dead and you are Still craving for everybody's wallet. Go. Attend to the matter. You, you, perf you heal. The eyes are restored. And you still move around with anger and bitterness. Attend to the matter. That's how concentration works. Everything that defiles your ministry attend to it because it can kill you hallelujah 
When Moses performed all that he performed, the bitterness and the anger, the cruelty was still there. Hallelujah. How do you get two people to kill all men in, in the whole village? Just two brothers. And the father says, you know, the, Jacob knew the issue of deliverance. Jacob said, I rebuke your anger. In other words, he said, in some, some other Bible says, I, I curse, I curse your anger. He did not curse them. Jacob did not curse Simeon and, 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 and Levi. He cursed their anger. He was crying. You are saying, know that you have got bitterness and anger in you. You are cruel. They were sitting before him like we are sitting. And the father says, there is something that is in you. You guys, you are cruel. You are instruments of cruelty. And I curse. Maybe it's only in my Bible. I curse your bitterness and your anger. I curse it. When we take you through deliverance, we are able to curse spirits in you. You spirit of, uh, you spirit of lies. I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you heard minister saying that? The father, tried, the father tried to deliver Simeon and Levi. And still, the bitterness and the anger remained. And one other day, it showed itself. Moses was just about to reach the promised land. This time he, he was between 100 and 120 years. He was just about to reach the promised land. And God and the people started murmuring. They talked about it. As usual, Moses and Aaron, they will separate themselves and they will go to a corner. They will cry to God from a, from a place where they should be concentrated. But they omitted the issue of concentration. God give people water. God people give. Listen to me. It is good to look at the miracles. It is good to get excited with the miracles. Every now and then, sit down and say, God, Lord, Father, every sin in me, every bitterness in me, every anger in me, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anger that I got from my mother, the anger that I got from my father, from my first father, from my, even from my priest, Jehovah God, Lord, let it, let it die there. Forgive me, oh God. Forgive me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you. Do you see I'm standing here? Two o'clock I woke up. Two o'clock, two a.m. I woke up. And I said, God, Lord, search me. Search me, God. Anything from my father's house. Anything from my mother's house. Let it not go to the pulpit. Let it, let it not go to the pulpit. Let it not defile people. Let it not defile your weight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now Moses and Aaron, the bona fide descendants of Levi, they rise up. When people are murmuring, they go to your corner. All oh, the God of heaven speaks to them. You go back. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you simple instruction. Simple instruction. When you get there, assemble the people and go and take the rod. Do you see that rock? Do you see that rock? Moses, listen to me. Do you see that rock? This rock is Jesus. Let's go and speak to the rock. Let the rock give out water. Moses Musa. and Aaron, ne Aaroni. they assembled people as God had said. And they were passing for the sole purpose of 
making them know that they are not lean. They, when the congregation was assembled, the young man comes to them, says, people have assembled. They are having the rod. And then they come before the people. They pass before the people. And the Israelites mama again. These are the people. Him, these brothers. Him and him. They, they are killing us with death. With, with death. These guys. They are killing us. This, look, at, look at the sons of Levi. Look at these people. Don't you think they did that? That's what they did. When Moses speaks, Musa, he turns around. Achuka. The last verse, verse number, verse number, verse number twelve, oh. verse number eleven. Rather. Oh. In verse eleven, oh. they, Moses looks at them. Musa, you rebels! You say to somebody you are a rebel no. when no. you are fighting. I'm going to say it again. You look at somebody and say, you rebel. You don't even say to your children, you rebel, do you? No matter how much they anger you, it can only be said by somebody who is cruel, somebody who is bitter, somebody who is always angry, somebody who meditates anger. Meditates on anger. Somebody who dwells in anger. His life, his ways, his life of walking is anger. Let me show you. When you are angry, you keep on going. You are not talking. Your neighbor says, what, What's the matter? I, nothing. Sooner or later, when he's like that, just praise him. He's already charged. He jumps on you. That's how Moses was. When they passed through the people, anger had already built. Mandu is a crowd, it's a big crowd of all. Of over one million. Over one million people. It was not a matter of walking from one corner to the other. He had walked for a long time. And every moment he passes someone, he gets charged up. He gets charged up. Until he stands next to the rock. When he is at the rock, somebody Shout the, you know, says the last word. Maybe they insulted him. Maybe they insulted Moses. You know Hebrews. Hebrews. They are good at insulting. If they insult you, you can learn new insults. That you can carry to the next generation. You ask, you ask Peter. When Peter stood next to Jesus, when they said this man was with him, he only said, no, as the Lord lives, I don't know him. The Bible says, John puts it this way. Sooner or later, the man now was insulting. He cursed that woman that she closed up her mouth until Na Jesus was crucified. So probably they insulted Moses. And when you go to Jesus, because the rock represents Jesus Christ, when you go to Jesus, instead of speaking gently to the king, oh master, oh rock of ages, give us water, he hid the king out of anger. He hit the Lord Jesus Christ. There is what we call prophetic action. In intercession, there is prophetic action. Prophetic action, we do things as if they are happening. Praise the Lord. We act as if things are happening. Now, when you put a rock here, when God points at a rock and says, this rock, speak to it, every time when God looks at the rock, he sees Jesus. 
and they hit and Moses Musa. out of bitterness of, God, of her great 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 grandmother not been loved that anger came up I think she was saying I think he was saying you do not defend my mother you do not protect my mother when Jacob abused my mother you do not uh, protect her and they did what they did. And now the Bible says in Numbers chapter 20, you will never go to the promised land. Because the bitterness of your mother is still in you. You don't get it. You can lose your destiny because you are not dealing with the issues of your great great grandmother. You can lose. Standing. Moses lost standing in the promised land. He died. He died before he reached the promised land. When he was just about to die, God said to him, now tell everybody you are going. Hand over to, hand over to Joshua. Now you are going to die. Moses knew he was going to die. And God says, come up with me. You are not going to take these people to the promised land because you did not honor me. You were after your mother's bitterness. Praise the Lord. Do you see the danger which is posed by issues of blood? Do you see that you can lose your you can lose your battle because of issues of blood? You do not deal with your neighbor. You may have cut up. They might have cut up the, the physical umbilical cord. But the spiritual one is still there. He's still connecting you to your mother. The bones of your mother are still crying from the grave. They, Jacob did not look after me. Jacob had me. They, the, your mother did not even Leah did not even repent. She would not even, she would even go and, and hire Jacob. That he goes, that night he sleeps with her. Oh, come on. Come on. I know you don't understand me. How do you hire your husband for sex? How do you do that? Honey, tonight is my day. Oh, you know, you know that. I paid some money. I paid, I paid some money that you come and sleep with me. Come on. Come on. Saints, be real. Be real. It doesn't make sense. She was an intruder. And we need to treat, we need to see her as an intruder. Praise the Lord. The only time Moses saw the promised land. He was on the mountain which he died. Where he died. And God said, you see that city? You see, you see that city? That's Israel. That is, do you see that one? Do you see that, you see, you see that place? That's, 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 uh, uh, that's, that's Jerusalem. See, that is the capital city. The thing he craved, he was born for. He was born yes, to deliver the children of Israel. Moses, son of Israel, to the land of promise because of the issue of birth. Many generations before he was born, he let him do so. The anger, the brutality, the wicked heart of Moses, and the heart of thy great great grandmother had taken him to a place where he could not even touch the promised land. Only time Moses touched the promised land just for two seconds was on the day of transfiguration. It was just on that day. It was just on that day. When Jesus transfigured, Moses stood just briefly in the promised land. He was seen with Elijah. 
Oh, hallelujah. Moses, just briefly, he was seen with Elijah. What he wanted to see, the land he wanted to walk on it, the land he wanted to live in it, the, play, the land he wanted to be buried in it, he missed it. Praise the Lord. Do you picture your, do you see yourself? Your great grandfather's issues. Your great grandmother's issues. Do you see where you are? Praise the Lord. Say I'm the voice in the wilderness. I deal with elements. Praise the Lord. Moses was the voice in the wilderness. Forty years he was in the wilderness. And another forty years. Forty years he was in the in the wilderness. Looking after sheep. For the next forty years. He was in the wilderness. Taking the children of Israel to the promised land. Which was near from where he was. It was near from where he was. The the land of Israel. Was was, it's not very far from Egypt. It's not far. Even today, from Egypt to Israel, even today, it's not far. Even by then, it wasn't far. And Moses spent the time in the wilderness. He had to speak from the wilderness and summon the elements. Those who speak, those who speak from the wilderness, they command the elements. I'm going to say this before we rise up and pray. Our nation Botswana, on the 1st of September, no, the 1st of, the 1st of March, 1965, we went for the first general election. Let me, let me be simple. Let me simplify it. Because I want you to see how the elements operate. First of March, 1965, we had general election. On the third day of March, it was new moon. It was new moon. On the 23rd of March, it was a equinox. The 23rd of March, 1965. It was equinox. The moon, the day, and the sun, they are of the same length. So, March was a gate. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't get me. You don't get me. You are missing me. I'm confusing you. I can say I'm confusing you. Let me not confuse you again. At any gate, things are decreed, are placed into being. Things are set into the space. Things are set into, into the into. Certain ways are made to come into action. The first of March, general elections in Botswana. The third of March, new moon. That is 1965. The 23rd of March, 1965, is the gate called Equinox. Where the, the night and the day, they are of similar distance. And the wishes and the Satan is like that, that gate so much. Those elements, they like them so much. We waited the whole, the whole 18 months. Until we come to September 1966, the following year. We had our independence on the 30th of, on the 30th of September, 1966. The 29th of March, no, the 29th of September, 65, it was full moon. 
We went to the elections on new moon. Now we are celebrating on full moon. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our parliament, parliament never sees outside new moon or full moon. When Botswana parliament starts, parliament night, all the time is on new moon or on full moon because they connect with the elements. They must speak to the elements. Let me tell you, you are the voice in the wilderness. You are the voice in the wilderness. The voice in the wilderness speaks to the elements. The voice in the elements. Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter number 9 and chapter 10. He was in the wilderness. He was the voice in the wilderness. He addresses the moon, he addresses the moon and the sun. He looks at the sun and say, oh you sun, stand still. He was a voice in the wilderness. He says, sun, stand still and the sun obey. He said, oh you moon, stay where you are and moon obey. When the, when the enemies of Israel were running away, Bone came from heaven. They became a weapon. The voice in the wilderness commands stones to fight for him. The voice in the wilderness commands even the, the wood to fight for him. When, Ab when Absalom was fighting David, they were in the wilderness. I'm going to say it again. David was a shepherd. He is the voice in the wilderness. He lived in the wilderness. David will kill a lion without any, without any, without any weapon. When he killed Goliath, he used natural, he used elements. He took a stone. He did not look for a weapon. He did not look for the sword. He is the man in the wilderness. He is the voice in the Expect all intercessors to be the voice in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Every intercessor must be a voice in the wilderness. You command the, you command the elements. You command the water. The water will lead to you. You speak to the mountains. The mountains bow down. Hallelujah. You speak to the rock. The rocks turn around. You look at the rock and you tell all rock, be water. It turns into water. When Moses was fighting uh, uh, jo, uh, was fighting this man in Pharaoh in Egypt, he never used a sword, did he? It was the elements. It was the water. It was darkness. It was the sun. He is the voice in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Say, I'm the voice in the wilderness. I am the voice in the wilderness. I command the elements. And the elements bow down. I command the elements. And the elements hear me. I am the voice in the wilderness. I am the voice in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Just before you rise up and pray, I want you to look at I'm sharing this testimony with you. You got James Cavalier. He came to Botswana. Yeah, we, stood in the we stood in the wilderness and you commanded things to happen. Lo and behold, a big stone as big as the stage fell from the mountain without anybody pushing it down. In the wilderness, you do things which are Listen, listen to me. The first time, the first time we heard that a rock fell from the, from the mountain on its own. It was when the first president of Botswana died. The night, the first president, the night he died, the very moment he died, a stone broke. There was no broken from the top of the mountain. It went down. 
the elements shook because a principality was dying. When I went, when I went to that stone, when I stood on the stone, I said to myself, I want to see God doing something greater than this. I saw it and I found in my heart. I said, the God in heaven must do something greater than this. We are the voice in the wilderness. Elements must bow before us. Elements must know we are not ordinary. Elements must run. Elements must run. Must tremble. More so hills and mountains. They run like rams. So they must run. One other man in our home village. You know, maybe these things don't happen in Uganda. You might be having decent demons and municipalities who don't bother people so much. One village where my church is, when little Lolly died, that night, a stone fell from the hill and went down. And in the morning, everybody reported there is a stone. We are people who speak to the elements. Hallelujah. I want to challenge you. As an intercessor, you cannot only speak to you cannot only you cannot only speak to, to COVID. You cannot only, you cannot only speak to it to sickness and disease. You must you must get the elements move. You must get the mountains move. You must get the hills move. As you get it, as you do it, you stand before the Lord and things must happen. Every element, the animals must bow before you. When Absalom challenged David, who was a, who, who was a shepherd? The, David is the voice in the in the, in, is the voice in the in the in, in the wilderness. Wood that we use for fuel became weapons. They killed more soldiers, including Absalom himself. Oh. We are not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. I've got the first sun blessings. I've got the firstborn blessings. I'm not ordinary. I'm not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. In the name of Jesus. I'm not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. I will always be number one. Because God chose me to be number one. I am not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. I've got something which the world doesn't have. I'm the voice in the wilderness. I am the voice in the wilderness. We are the voice in the wilderness. We'll be the voice in the wilderness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God. All those that are not mine. All those that are not. I am the voice in the wilderness. I am not ordinary. I will never be ordinary. In the name of Jesus, I'm the voice in the wilderness. I affect the nations with the voice from the wilderness. I, have, I, I, I affect mountains. I affect sea. I affect waters. I affect hills with the voice from the Rondra Tirabazekejindara. Rise up and claim you are not ordinary. You will never be ordinary. In the name of Jesus. Chindra Sito Roko Zabata. Zandra Tirabebe. Chindra Roko Zatana. Chindra Basitoro. Chindra Roko Zata. Chazeke Keke. Ziba Taraza. Nara Tirazeke. Chaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandara Taterebebe. Zito Roso Kogera. In Jesus' mighty name. Even the issues of pain will never stop me to reach my destiny. Because the first thing will done Oh, Torah Bazekaran will break a crow, will break all voices that come from hell. Trita Zeka, Zayazaza Baba, Chandra Sito Robozo, Chita Razikote, Zinkenda Rara, Chindra Baba Baya, Zika Sito Robozo. Pray you are not ordinary. You've got the, you are the voice in the wilderness, the voice that moves mountains, the voice that moves move elements, the voice that moves to the, that speaks to the mood. 
the moon and the sun, they listen to you. Ori ke re re re, zindla shita rabaza, ondro sota rabazika, chindla basetera. You fight with el, you fight elements, you fight using elements. Riteza, jan raba ba 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 ba, riseto ropo, chindla sita rabaze, indra ba 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 yaka, ziko shiza nara, ziba china razeke, ziko zeke, chazika zika, indra zaka ba ba ba. Imagine, pray. You are the voice in the wilderness. You are the voice that delivers your people, your nation from the issues of the wilderness. Zikerarara, zindroba zokoro. You will always use elements to fight your way, your battles. You will use elements to fight your battles. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you will use elements. You will use water to fight your enemy. You will use the, you will use mountains. You will use hills to fight your enemies. Zikebata, zindra shatara, zayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
you will get healed. When you address trees, when you address mountains, when you address the stars, when you address, we can men fall down. The agents of darkness, they fall down. Principalities fall down. Kings and rulers, rulers are dethroned. When you speak, to, when you address the wilderness, in the name of Jesus, Yes, yes. You are not ordinary. You are a messenger of God. You are not ordinary. You don't speak ordinary language. You don't speak ordinary language. You are a messenger of God. The voice in the wilderness. 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 The voice from the wilderness. The voice of deliverance. The voice in the wilderness. The voice in the wilderness. The voice that speaks in the wilderness. Shatira Bazekaran. It transcends beyond the beyond the issues of death. But Kazeka Rasha. Kinro Toro Roro Roro. Zibayon Rababa. Zibayon Rababa. Zibayon Rababa. Zibayon Rababa. Narotara Zeki. Shariendra. You are no, you are not speaking one in other way. You are not speaking one in language. You speak the language of God. You speak the voice of God. You hear from God and you represent God from the wilderness. The wilderness you. The creation fear you. What has fear you? Mountains run before you. Azakatira, rivers are level before you. In the name of Jesus, Mandre Chandra Sakaraba. Let us pray. You are the voice in the wilderness. The voice that redeems. The voice that, that will redeem the nation. The voice that will redeem nations. The voice that will redeem men. The voice that will redeem cities. The voice that will redeem homes. The voice that will redeem families. The voice that will redeem minerals. The minerals are crying. Do you for the sons of God to rise? Minerals underground. Resources underground. That they say we want to see the child of God. We want to see the servant of God. You are the servant of God that manifests in Jesus' mighty name. Retire the desert. Shandra Basatoro. Zibayo Zakati. Shandra Sitere. Zibaba Baba Kesa. Shatira Zere. Orodoroba So. You are the voice of the Lord. You are the voice of the Lord in the wilderness. You are the voice. You are the voice. You are the voice of the wilderness. Mountains melt before you. Rivers melt before you. Melt before the thee. The trees pray before thee. Just Kotara. Ah, Barakara. The voice of the Lord. 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 Break even the the the, the, the the trees of 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 fashion. The trees of fashion. The trees of Kadesh. The trees of Kadesh. The trees of Kadesh. Yes, you are the voice in the wood. Yes, you are the voice in the wooden. Tritara Zeka Baba. Zandra Satarabas. You are the voice in the wooden. The Andre Baba Zay. In Jesus' mighty name, the issues of faith will never hinder you to take your position. The issues of faith will never hinder you to take your position. Three Kazera, Chindraba Sokoriana, Akaria Zaba, Chandra Sita, Rinroba Sokoriana. Yes, yes, yes. You are the voice in the wilderness. You are the voice in the wilderness. In the name of Jesus. Every issue of birth, every issue of birth shall melt before thee. It shall not hinder you to reach your destiny. You reach your destiny because you are the child of God. Because you are the firstborn of God. You are the child of God. Rota Riza Baba, Zindra Zata Rabaza, Chandra Sito Robo Zopoli, Chandra Terere, Zikoti Rabaza. In Jesus' mighty name, you are the voice. You are the voice of the Lord in the wilderness. You are the voice that speaks to mountains. You are the voice that speaks to hills. You are the voice that speaks to water. You are the voice that speaks to memories. The memories fall before you. They are high, the peace of the waters, the Leviathan, they fall before you. They cannot dance before you. They cannot claim position of the river before you. Because you own, you own all that God owns. You own all. Jesus. You are the voice in the wilderness. You are the voice of the Lord in the wilderness. Jesus if in the wood will rise up against your enemies. Who do rise? Who do rise up against your enemies? They will kill your enemies. They will shatter your enemies. Enemies on your way. What do you do? Rise up. Sasikaya. Shiti Razaba. Zika Zaba.
kashaza tiro zakabari zindo torobozo chari ari ari zindo ro taraba zindo ro koraba zindo ro koraba zindo ro shataraba ishi taraba ze you are the voice you are the voice in the wilderness you are the voice that speaks from the wilderness you are the voice that speaks from the wilderness you are the voice that speaks from the wilderness you are the voice in the wilderness you are the voice of the lord in the wilderness you are the voice of the lord in the wilderness that taraba ze let that must be no you are the voice in the wilderness let the trees know let the waters know let the stars and the moon the constellation shall know that you are the voice in the wilderness you give the wilderness a command and the wilderness listen you give the wild the elements command listen they bow down before all elements bow down for you because you are the voice you are the voice in the wilderness you are the voice in the wilderness you are the voice in the wilderness please Zibaba <laughs> Oh that you rabbi say I'm not ordinary you will never be ordinary you are not ordinary you are not ordinary you are the voice of the lord in the wilderness you are the lord the voice of the lord in the wilderness you level mountain you level hills you level mountain you level hill even volcano mountain they are level before you because you are the voice of the lord the voice in the wilderness you are the voice of the lord you are the voice in the wilderness he tells up baba because of akariana the giants hear you the giants flee because you are not ordinary the giants hear you the giants flee the giants scatter because you are not ordinary riketezi baba riketezi baba riketezi baba zaka ziko shatira zindro soto rabayo onro satira bazi shatira bazakariana in the name of jesus the voice of the lord in the wilderness we are the voice of the lord in the wilderness Jesus, the voice of the blood the voice of the blood the voice of the, the voice the voice in the wilderness the voice that says make the cricket way straight it comes from Oh, hallelujah. We are not ordinary. We'll never be ordinary. We are the church of Jesus Christ. We are the we are the saints of the Lord. We are the saints of the Lord. And victory is given to the saints of the Lord. Victory is given to the saints of the Most High God. The peace in the wilderness. The peace that are invisible. The peace that they make themselves visible at their own time. They hear your voice. They crash. They tumble down. They break down. Brazeke, Baba. You are not ordinary. You will never be ordinary. You are not ordinary. You will never be ordinary. In Jesus' mighty name. You have the blood of Jesus. You have the testimony of the Lord. You have the blood of Jesus. You have the testimony of the Lord. Rota re re re, rota re re re, zaka re re re, shandra se chira ba, ziba kaze ke, zanga shatara ba, rin robo roya, oriandra se chira ba, zango zeka, shaziba zeke, maman roke, zaya zibuko, shaba ba ba ba, nandra zatara, halalu. The Church of Jesus Christ is not ordinary. The Church of Jesus Christ is the representation of the God of heaven who rules on earth. We are the representatives, the ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. We are the ambassadors. The Church of Jesus Christ is the embassy of the embassy of heaven. The embassy of heaven. The Church of Jesus Christ is the embassy of heaven. We are not ordinary. We are not ordinary people. We will never be ordinary. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are the voice of God. We are the voice of the Lord in the wilderness. We are the voice in the wilderness. We are the voice in the wilderness. She says, "Shatira zekoriana, siritara baba, sandra shatara bazoko, rundro torazi, baziko zekesha, zikatira." In the name of Jesus Christ, ayabazoko ranara. We speak the word. As we speak with the voice, we are the voice in the wilderness. The fire is the fire that comes from the throne of God. 
Fire kindle her at the voice of the at the voice of the sons of God when they speak from the wilderness in Jesus' mighty name. Zipako Tara Shatira Bazikuria Dara and mountains tumble down. Shatira Basoko in the name of Jesus. Oh Shaka. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Just listen to me. The will that the elements should not fight against you. They must never fight against you. The wind should not rise up against you. The clouds should not rise up against you. Thunderstorm should not rise up against you. You are not ordinary. Hallelujah. You will never be ordinary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fire Omurido. of the devil should not rise up against you. Oh, you are not ordinary. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Say, I'm not ordinary. Gamba, siri I'm not ordinary. Siri I'm a child of God. I'm born I'm born Jesus. Therefore, I'm not ordinary. Hallelujah. Just sit down a second. I want, I want this to, to be wrapped in your spirit. I want this thing to be wrapped in your spirit. When you fight, any battle you fight, including the the, the bloodline vessels. Let me tell you. I like all. Eating. Even when I watch movies, there must be guns, there must be all this action. There must, some, someone must be beaten up. That is the movie that interests me. The movie is in your mirror. Praise the Lord. I like fighting. I'm a Uriah. I fight. I said this to my church. The day you don't want me, just tell me you don't want me. Don't fight me. Because I don't need a company of human beings. The elements will fight with me. The elements will pull you down. I, I can't understand how, how people think. Last year we came to attend the conference. And one other guy in Botswana, who is not even generated, he's not lean, he's not regenerated, he's not lean. I saw a vision. I saw a vision. You know, James Kavalia was back in Moses. You know, he passed Moses. He went into the bath. He was been bathed by James Kavalia and Pastor Tamado. And, you know, I said to them, give me the name. Who is that person? Give me the name. They refused. Do you know why they refused? I was going to make her know that she got the dream from the devil. I was that what I was going to do. They are not doing the right thing. Because that was the easier way out. If I command the elements to fight against my enemies, she'll be one of my enemies. They are protecting her, but for for an end that you'll regret. They are pushing her to an end that you'll regret for the rest of her life. Praise the Lord. I want to share this testimony in one church, I'm not going to mention the name today. In one church in Botswana. There were issues on the pulpit. And the pulpit was not lean. And one other day somebody said, let's call this man. Let's call, let's call Moshe. 
And when you got there, the Lord said to me, no, we prayed and I went home. As when I got there, the Lord said to me, no, you know what? Go to that place. Go back to that place. Do you see Ezekiel 24? Do you see the book of Ezekiel chapter number 24? I said, yes, I, yes, I see it. I went to the chapter. I read it. I read the book. And it happened that God says, I look for the pastor. I said, you want this thing to be done? I said, yes, yes, sir. I want... I want Go and get your wife to give us a, a pot. I said, yes, she has been using it for cooking. It should not be a new it shouldn't be a new pot. It should not be a new pot. It must be an old pot. She has cooked food. She dished to people from the pot. Tell her to give it to us. And the woman did. That is the pastor's wife. She gave us that pot. And God says, kindle fire, burn that pot. We kindle fire with small little sticks. And we put the pot on fire. There were papers that we, we have written our issues on them. Three sheets, three, four sheets. We put them inside the pot. And the first thing to burn was, was pass. They burned burn to ashes. Immediately the papers finished burning. They were turned into ashes. The pot broke Oh, this is an aluminum pot. You know aluminum, aluminum pot, isn't it? You know it, isn't it? It broke into two. And it bent to ashes. No piece, no piece, no piece of metal remained. Not in the handles. When we left, Everything there was ashes. That piece of metal was ashes. I know you don't understand me. It's incomprehensible. You don't, you don't comprehend it. I'll mean I'm poor to cook meat. And, and even when it burned, when the meat bent, the pot did not break it too. The pot did not turn into ashes. But in this case, we were doing something. Praise the Lord. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I enjoy using elements. The fire that we thought we have kindled is the fire that Elijah ordered from heaven. That is the only fire that can burn metal to ashes. It's the only fire. This is the fire that flows from the throne of God. When, when the court of heaven sits, when when the, 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 the ancient of days takes his position, there is a river of fire that flows from that table. It goes down. That is the fire that Elijah tapped and it burned the sacrifices from the top to the bottom. That fire swallowed even stones. By the time Elijah went out to kill 450 people. Elijah is a killer. Intercessors are killers. If you are an intercessor, you cannot kill. You are disqualified. 
Before Elijah left to go and kill the 450 prophets, the stones that he piled there were all consumed. The fire that comes from the mouth of the men that lives in the wilderness. The man that lives in the wilderness devours even stones. Hallelujah. I pray that you desire that. As a, as a, as a, as a as the voice in the wilderness. The fire that comes when I command it it's even consume rocks. It must, it must swallow Mount Kilimanjaro. It must swallow mountains in here. Drakibek mountain must be swallowed by the voice I, 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 I produce. Hallelujah. I'm only not a person. If I cannot bath, I will stink. If I don't bath, I will stink. Mm -hmm. If I don't eat, I will be hungry. Because I'm ordinary. And I have learned to command the elements to fight on my side. And I'm still learning to get the elements to fight for me. Praise the Lord. Let me stop this far. Oh, praise. Let me hand over to Farida. Praise the Lord. Let us stand on our feet and appreciate the Holy Spirit with a mighty hand. Clap. And let us honor the anointing upon Pastor Moshe with a mighty hand clap. We are ready to use the elements in warfare. Amen. We thank God for the revelation. Amen. So we are going to have communion. And after communion, Father, we bless your holy name. Today, as we appear before the table, King of Glory, we present these elements for communion before you. We declare them holy and clean. And Father, we ask this morning that let them take the spiritual form of the broken body and of the broken body and the blood of Jesus. On the night that he was betrayed, he took the loaf of bread and when he had 
given thanks. He said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he took the cup and said, this is the new covenant in my blood. Father, today, as we come on the table, we come to partake of your broken body and of your blood. Let it be a holy moment according to the decrees of heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm going to request Pastor Moshe and his wife to come. And uh, Pastor Chibiri get to come and we are going to have communion. We are going to have two serving places. So you can in prayer Kati as you prepare to come kusaba, for communion and we can make usimira. those two lines in the name so of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Amen.